Holy guacamole, Batman. Am I finally filming this video? I don't know. Are we? You tell me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be hanging out with you today. So, <laughs> I have so many empties from Bath & Body Works. I'm just gonna play a little bloopers reel of me trying to take a thumbnail and things either falling down or hitting me in the face or both. Ah! <laughs> Ow! Yeah, way too many. This bag has been filling up. Um, I think it was literally at least a year since the last time I did one of these. I think I've only ever done one. So that was also a fall one. So I promise I'm going to do these more frequently because you guys really seem to like that one. I hope you still enjoy these. Let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments, all that good stuff. So I'm going to do an empties just for Bath & Body Works stuff. I do like a home fragrance and candle empties video separately. So go check those out down below. So things like wallflowers and candles will be in that video, even if they're from Bath and Body Works. I also do beauty empties here on my channel if you like empties. So I will link uh, the playlist of that down below. I think all my empties are in that one playlist and I definitely need to do one of those again soon. I love these videos so much. They're so satisfying. I get to review everything I've been using and finishing up lately and share it with you guys. So since I have so much stuff right now, I'm not gonna be able to do it all in one video without making it like an hour long. So I'm gonna do another one somewhat soon and finish it up um i'm gonna try to do a mix of like the most recent stuff and maybe some of the oldest stuff in this video and then the in between will be in the next one i don't know we'll see what i pull out of the bag but here's what i've been using up lately there's a ton of hand soaps um i actually just finished one up a couple seconds ago so or a couple minutes ago and that's what prompted me to finally film this i've been staring at this bag forever but i've just been too dang tired to film. I've been dying to do this. I enjoy these videos so much and love to hear what you guys think. So I'm gonna do, I think the hand soaps at the end all together. So stay tuned for those. So I finished this up super recently. It's my Beach Nights Summer Marshmallow Shower Gel. I love it so much. I've almost paid way too much for it online. This is from last year, but it used to come out all the time. I love this so much. Used it all summer and into fall a little bit and just recently finished it up, which I'm super sad about because I really love this scent. So good, so nice and marshmallowy. The notes on this are toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores accord, beach driftwood, and creamy vanilla. And it's so, so good. So like nostalgic of summer. So creamy and delicious and I'm obsessed with it. So lathered up really well, love that as a shower gel. Love, 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 loved it. I used up the A Little Nuts Walnut Scrub. This came out around holiday. Um, like the coal scrub and stuff I think and I picked this up when it was like during the semi-annual sale or something this had exfoliating walnut shells and shea butter it was a light exfoliator a little eight ounce and this was a bit of a thicker one I really didn't like this at first and it grew on me over time it was okay but I wouldn't really get it again I don't think it smelled all right kind of like shea not like super scented um so it's good for winter I guess use on your feet even though I would close the cap water would get in here so it got really watery towards the end I don't know why something about the packaging it was okay but they usually don't bring back the same scrubs anyway so i don't have to worry about it but yeah not my favorite another scrub i used up was the tahiti island dream white sand body scrub this one was a lot finer i really really like the texture and the consistency again this was like an sas find i love when the body scrubs go 75 percent off um it's kind of rare that they do so when they do i stock up gave one of these away as a gift which i'm kicking myself for because i really liked it really nice and fine good for your legs before shaving made them so smooth afterwards um the notes are fresh coconut water sparkling mandarin kiwi blossom lush spring japani and tahitian vanilla musk i like tahiti island dream it's not my most favorite it's okay i really liked it for a while got a little sick of the scent but i liked the formula a lot so i believe i still have one of these in backup i hope because it's a really nice texture used up a little baby amazing body cream the marshmallow magic scent again from last year holiday season i love this one i bought a ton at the last semi-annual sale i was amazed there was any left absolutely love this it's like a marshmallow vanilla lavender sort of scent so i have another one of these i'm using right now this is like my before bed one so this was just a travel version i took with me everywhere and i love it and if you cut them open i saw i think yellow brick expat here on youtube who i love her bath and body works empties if you cut it open there's still so much product in here that you can't squeeze out so definitely make sure you're doing that um especially if it's a scent you really love so yeah make the most of your products and then in the same scent i got i finished up the it's the bomb kind of body butter sort of thing again from SAS because it's originally 1850 said we're obsessed with having soft touchable skin year round that's why this ultra moisturizing fast absorbing moisturizer is the bomb and the notes are vanilla cream crisp lavender and marshmallow musk which I absolutely love again 
perfume. This was a little thicker and greasy, which I didn't love at first, but it was great for like the dead of winter last year for your feet and legs. Um, I think I did use it all over my body, but I do like an extra layer on my feet, even when I wasn't moisturizing my whole body, just randomly when it needed it. So a little thick and greasy, but still was good. I enjoyed it. I believe I have another one or two of these in backup just to savor this scent. And a second Amazing Body Cream Mini. Yes. A couple pocket backs I used up, the Vanilla Buttercream. This one I think I bought full price and then it went to semi-annual sale. And it was so funny, when I hauled this, I got so many comments about it. People saying they liked the vanilla scent because I like those kind of vanilla-y, sweet gourmand scents. And people kept saying this one smelled like alcohol, they didn't like it. And it wasn't the best vanilla. It was okay, it wasn't like pure alcohol, but it wasn't as sweet as I would like it to be. And then I love this one so much, the Sorry I'm Latte. Such a cute design. I think I still have the hand cream in this. I love this scent. It was on the lighter side, so it was one I didn't feel bad using in public. I didn't feel like I was scent bombing everyone around me. It was nice and subtle, like a clean, soothing kind of shea scent. Not really coffee, but kind of like a vague bakery, slight, slight, slight hint, maybe of like, like a coffee biscuit and a little coffee sort of deal, slight bakery scent to it. So it doesn't say the actual scent name, but I really love that one, would totally get it again. Wish it came out in more things. <laughs> This one's kind of funny. I love when I used to go to a hotel and they'd have Bath & Body Works brand hair items. Like Bath & Body Works doesn't make hair stuff anymore. So this is the White Citrus Conditioner. And it's funny because White Citrus is back in Signature Body Care now, but I don't like it that much. But I liked this. It was clean. The conditioner actually worked pretty well, moisturized well. So I just used up a little travel sized one. And this like totally doesn't seem like a Bath & Body Works item, but apparently it is. I don't know. Do they ever actually make this in stores? I don't know. Used up the Daisy Dream Girl Lotion from the Sweethearts Collection from like 2013 maybe? The little mini one? Oh my god, I had this for so long. I bought all the minis in this collection because I loved it. They're all girly and perfumey and like old school Bath and Body Works and I've had these for so long. This one was very on the perfumey floral side. So I liked it but I got super sick of it. And yeah, old packaging, isn't that adorable? Um, and then I love this, the fragrance-free hand cream, the shea butter ones. I don't think they make this anymore. They had it for a while, I discovered I loved it. It went away, it came back again. And then I bought like three more. So I have more of this, I don't think they make it right now. Now it's like just the shea one that's shiny and they have a few that are like aren't as fragrance, like the overnight and the paraffin, but I don't know if they're totally fragrance free. So this one I liked. I realized I do like the formula of these hand creams, um, depending on the time of year. They're thick, they're not too greasy. They do take a second to sink in, but I liked the fragrance free. Again, for when you're in public, you don't want a lot of scent or if you're not feeling good and you don't want anything super strong. I like this one a lot. Finally got around to using one of the face masks that went super cheap last SAS. This is the Totally Terrific Tea Tree Oil and Licorice Root Extract Face Sheet Mask. Um, I hate that they don't like say what skin benefits are on these, but they did just come out with a bunch of new ones, so maybe those do. But this one I actually really liked um, the way it was cut and like the size was perfect. Face masks are always way too big for me. There's like that much of it that like goes into my hair that is too big for my face. The eye holes and the nose holes are never quite right, no matter what brand I seem to try, but this one fit me like perfectly, so I'll give them that. It was nice and soothing, relaxing. I have a few more. I don't know if it's this exact one, but I have some from this collection, so I, yeah, I really like that. Used up a bath bomb, the Japanese Cherry Blossom Bath Fizzy, in kind of the older collection. Got a good price on a gift set of these um, during a sale at one point when my store was closing down. So, like a lot of people have said with these, um, they like don't give you a ton of fizz or a ton of scent, especially this one being a lighter scent. I definitely didn't smell like it when I left the bath. Not that you normally do with bath bombs, but I was a little underwhelmed with this. I've been very into bath bombs and I like collecting the Bath and Body Works ones because I like their scents and stuff like that, but it didn't really do much. So, mm, wasn't crazy about it. They have lots of specialty ones now that do different things. So maybe those are different. I don't know, but these classic ones didn't smell like much, didn't bubble too much. Mm. Wow, this is super old. I don't even remember using this up. The Oahu Coconut Sunset Shower Gel. I was super into this scent when it first came out. The notes are Coconut Blossom, Sparkling Bergamot, Beach Tube Rose, Hawaiian Manoi, and Molten Amber. Not when it first came out, when I first discovered it, like two years ago when I first started getting super into Bath and Body Works. And this was a super nice, warm, fruity, slightly coconutty floral. 
very tropical scent and I really like this in the shower gel form. I use this like through winter, like in summer, like multi-season, it was still nice. So I'm a little sick of it now. So I really overdid it, but yeah, I did like this at the time. <laughs> I don't remember this at all either. I got, I finished up the BFAB Everyday Sugar Cookie Pocket Back. Packaging super cute. The leopard and sugar cookie. Again, like I always like those vanilla cookie scents. This one wasn't super strong, had a strong alcohol note to it. I think this was in my car for a while. There's a little bit left. Yeah, really, really light scent, which was too bad. Use of Vanilla Bean Noel Foaming Hand Soap from last year. The notes are fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, and sugar cookies. Actually, this is 2016 packaging. My mom and I love this one, so I probably used this up at her house. Really luscious, creamy cookie scent. I have another one of these, love it. I think this one was my mom's, um, I'll go home and visit them like for a while and I'll like help use up the soaps. And I'm like, can you save me the empty so I can review it? Because I did use it, I just didn't finish it up by myself. But this is the vanilla coconut with vitamin A, B, and E. Maybe this was mine, I don't remember. This is from 2017. The scent was kind of light on this one. It was a little underwhelming, so, meh. <laughs> All the vanilla ones in a row. Used up the Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. You're the sprinkles on my ice cream. I was saving this from last summer because it was so delicious. The notes are marshmallow fluff, vanilla bean, and creamy caramel, and it smells divine. Um, but it's a little light on your hands. Better than the other two, but still pretty good. I think I got another one this year, so I finally let myself use this one up. But I love the scent, like all the caramel and stuff, and yet it's different than Vanilla Bean Noel. It's just really nice. Can't even... Eh even open it to smell it though. This one is from I think last winter white cherry and thyme. This one has the coconut oil. Really cute minimalist kind of pattern texture label on these. The notes were sweet cherries, crisp eucalyptus, and fresh thyme. This was very funky and unusual. I really enjoyed it. Slightly herbal, really good. Um, the eucalyptus kind of gave it a note I wasn't super crazy about, like almost a borderline cough medicine note but I did really like it. I think I'd get this again. It's a very funky scent that I enjoyed. Love, love, love this one. My mom, um, I got her one and I almost asked for it because I loved it so much. The Strawberry Lemon You Shine Bright from Summer Semi-Annual Sale. The soap was a really pretty blue color, like the pop art collection. Soap was that color, it was super cute. I love this bottle. Notes were sweet strawberries, sparkling lemon, and crystallized sugar. And this one was so good, I loved it was nice and strong stayed on your hands all day so good so good i loved it i loved it i was surprised because i'm not normally a lemon person the one i just finished up today was iced guava and green tea with coconut oil I was a little underwhelmed with this i was super excited for it thought it would smell like how the panera iced tea tastes because you know green tea papaya is one of the notes the notes are escape to paradise with a blend of tropical papaya guava and coconut milk Mm, it was too like medicinal green tea. I was happy when this one was done a few minutes ago. Just something in this I really do not like. It's not fruity enough. It's not, it's okay. Just, mm, no, I didn't like it. Didn't like the green tea. So I thought this one was gonna be one of my favorites. So I was gonna save it, but I used it and not the biggest fan. I had the ghoul friend. Wickedly wild berry scent. I love how they go all out on Halloween and holiday packaging. Like, look at that. So pretty. I absolutely love this one. I have another one. The notes are dark strawberries, ghostly peony, and spine chilling citrus. And the side is so cute. It was bright pink, just smells like sour strawberry gummy candy, like bubble gum, some people said, or cotton candy. So good. Loved all the candy scents for Halloween. Delicious. So I'm really glad I bought another one. It almost made me like like gave me that tingling sensation that sour candy does in the back of your jaw just smelling it it's it smells so good finish up the cognac and cream soap with coconut oil from last holiday time the drinks collection i think i have a few more of these in backup because i really liked it and it went really cheap um the notes are golden cognac ground nutmeg and fresh cream and it was a really nice creamy vanilla scent pretty strong really good almost like a butterscotch like that deep luscious creamy scent so i really like that so i think that's all i'm gonna do today just so this video isn't super long and so we have stuff to talk about in another month or two leave me comments down below let me know if you've tried any of this what you've been liking and using and using up lately would love to talk to you guys i have a bath and body works and like wax and candle dedicated instagram at way wicked wax come follow me and chat with me there subscribe to my channel to join our glam bam fam and i'll see you guys in my next video three two one bam